Stop what you're doing. Seriously. Forget the meme coins. Forget the market noise. What if I told you the two technologies I'm about to reveal today are building something inevitable? An autonomous internet where machines pay each other instantly without a human inside. This isn't just the next big thing. It's the final layer. And the window to get in on the ground floor is closing fast. All right, what's up, everyone? And welcome back to the channel. It's me, Domenico. Look, I know. I know there's a lot of noise out there every day, a new project, a new promise. But today, it's different. We're not talking about small gains. We're talking about the fundamental architecture of the next internet and payments. Let's send it. For years, we've had two massive problems in crypto and Web3. First, insane, unpredictable fees that kill any real-world use case. And second, no universal way for machines and AIs to actually transact with each other. It's like having a global superhighway with no on-ramps and toll booths that charge a different price every second. It's been a total mess. Until now, we're breaking down two separate game-changing projects. But here's the secret. The real alpha is not in either one of them alone. It's how they actually combine. And today, we're talking about the internet computer, ICP, and a new payment protocol called X402. And trust me, you need to understand how they fit together perfectly. And think about it. Think of it like this. Imagine you're building the city of the future. You need two things, a solid foundation and a seamless economy. First, the foundation. You need the roads, the power grids, and buildings that are incredibly cheap, infinitely scalable, and totally reliable. You can't have the power going out or the roads getting congested every time rush hour hits. That's ICP. It's the decentralized cloud, the compute backbone. It's the digital concrete and steel for this new world. Now, what about the economy? In the future city, you have self-driving taxis, delivery drones, AI assistants, all working for you and me. But how do you pay those things? How does a taxi pay for a charging station? How does your AI system pay for a real-time data feed? They can't exactly swipe a credit card. Exactly. And that's where X402 comes in. It's a payment language for machines. A simple, universal way for any device, any artificial intelligence, any application to send and receive money instantly. It's the economic nervous system of our future city. And for the longest time, we've had one without the other. We've had the blockchains that are too expensive, too slow to be the foundation. And we've had the payment IDs with no real infrastructure to run on. But now we have both. Okay, let's get into the weeds, but I'll make it simple. First up, Internet Computer Protocol, the Compute Engine, which is the world computer. Forget what you think you know about blockchains. ICP isn't about running DeFi swaps. It's about running the whole entire internet. That's why it's called the world computer. We are talking front-end websites, back-end logic, massive databases, everything 100% on-chain. They figured out the biggest problem, gas fees on networks like Ethereum. The more popular it gets, the more expensive it gets to use. It's like your rent going up because your neighborhood got popular. It makes zero sense for a real business. ICP flips that model completely on its head because developers prepay for computation using something called cycles, which are pegged to real world costs. That's the most important factor. That means, say, a transaction costs a fraction of a cent always. We're talking about processing 100,000 operations for maybe 50 bucks. Flat, but more importantly, predictable. It doesn't matter if the market is pumping or dumping. And the best part, the user pays nothing, nada. No gas fees ever. You just use the app, it's seamless, like Web2, but running on a fully 100% decentralized beast that can already handle over 5,000 transactions per second. This is the infrastructure layer, or what I call the bedrock. Now, 
Let's talk about X402, the payment layer. This is the missing link. X402 is genius in its simplicity. It's built on a standard HTTPP error code you've probably never seen. 402 payment required. And here's how it works. An AI agent, let's say needs data for an API, it makes that request. The API server says, no, you gotta pay me first and sends back a 402 error with an invoice. The agent's wallet automatically pays that tiny invoice. And we can even be talking about micropayments and the API unlocks the data instantly. No humans, no credit cards, no subscriptions, just machines talking to machines with money. And the beauty in all of this is X402 can work over any fast blockchain, Solana, Base, or you name it. It is a universal translator for value. Okay, so what does this matter to you and me? Because here's where the magic happens. When you combine ICPs, cheap, infinitely scalable compute, which the wall computer is number one at and the only solution for it, with X402's universal payment language. Let's use a real world example. Imagine a smart drone monitoring a massive solar farm. One. The drone's control system is a smart contract, a canister, running entirely on ICP. It's processing real-time data, checking for damaged panels. Two, it detects an anomaly and needs a high-resolution satellite image to confirm the problem. It pings a satellite imagery API that's monetized with X402. Three, the API demands a payment of, say, 50 cents, for example. Four, the ICP canister using X402 automatically pays that 50 cents in a stable coin. And five, the satellite image is delivered directly to the canister, which analyzes it, confirms the damage, and dispatches a repair bot. Notice what was missing. No Amazon Web Services, no Stripe payment processor, no human approvals. Just an autonomous, self-funding, self-executing system this is the holy grail and internet that runs itself. This isn't theory. This is happening now. The infrastructure for a multi-trillion dollar machine economy is being built as we speak. And ICP is that solution for those micropayments because every other blockchain to do that would cost too much. Look, I'm not your financial advisor and you should always do your own research. I'm just here to give you the data and for the rest, it's for you to research on it. But I'm a technology guy. My background's in traditional finance and I follow the devs. And they are flocked to build these kinds of autonomous systems. As I've said in many, many videos, next year, we're gonna go through an AI agent productivity boom. It's gonna go up to the right because this isn't just about crypto speculation anymore. This is about building the automated logistics of companies like Amazon, the data pipelines for artificial intelligence, the smart grids of our future smart cities. It's coming, all on a decentralized, trustless foundation. It's inevitable. We are at an inflection point, the quiet before the storm, because when these two technologies hit critical mass, the explosion is going to be like anything we've never seen. So what do you do? First, you smash that like button, subscribe right now, because in my next video, I'm going to drop deep alpha into the ICP ecosystem. I do my best to drop these videos every day. I have a very busy schedule, so show the appreciation and share this with a friend who's still stuck into that Web2 crypto fraud. Of course, it's time for the masses to know where the real utility and technology and value is gonna go. And you're not gonna to want to miss my next video. And second, drop a comment below. Let me know what's the most powerful autonomous use case you can think of, and let's brainstorm together and help me build a community around this because we're all early on this and that's a fact. And listen to me, the internet of today is a patchwork of centralized servers and clunky payment systems. The internet of tomorrow is an autonomous network of agents, data and value flowing seamlessly. ICP has built that engine for that world and X402 is providing the fuel. 
Most people wake up to this in say five, 10 years and wish they had paid attention today and not been so fixated on price go down, price go down, price go down, but not you. You're here right now at the very beginning. We are fucking early. The opportunity is staring right in front of you. The only question is, what are you gonna do about it? So stay sharp, stay curious, stay decentralized, do your research always, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.